Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel from the sunny Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I just thought today, I thought maybe um, I'd do a video on how Commission Factory has been working for me. I have a lot of people that have been asking me, you know, oh, how, how does it work and um, how do you get started basically. So I'm going to show you and give you guys some ideas of what, you know, I've done and why it's worked and um, basically give you some inspiration on um, getting started for the new year and you know residual income is one of those things that it, it sounds so difficult to get into but really it's not that hard um, so I've got, just got a three-part video here to show you and we'll go through some different things you can leave some comments um, in the comment section below um, please subscribe because it's my first video so um, let me know anything you, you want to talk about for future videos, I will be doing a few more. Um, so yeah, let's get started anyway. So Commission Factory, what is it? It's Australia's largest affiliate network. Um, definitely without doubt one of the best. I've tried a few. Uh, there is a few out there like CJ, um, which is short for Commission Junction, APD, Pepper Jam, Amazon. I also really recommend using Apple affiliates. Um, and definitely as a whole package use Google AdSense as well so you know the banners on the side of your blogs um, so yeah anyway let's have a look at the um, this month's account summary um, so this is my account here I'll just go alright so this is it this is the Commission Factory dashboard and you can see here the pending balance you can see the available balance um, you can see the commissions and the sale revenue doesn't look great available balance is zero but this is how it works. So I've already taken out some, some of this yesterday. Um, commissions are based on approval. So you get a commission come in um, and the merchant has to approve it. 99.9% .9 of commissions get approved. So you don't have to worry about that. So each month, you know, revenue you can see around the 1K mark, um, sell value around the 14K mark and the conversions um, around 10% of clicks get converted so I try and get a lot more traffic try and get you know get more conversions but you know it's not always traffic that you need so it also depends on yeah the web the website set up um, who 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 is the traffic where is the traffic coming from um, so yeah we'll, we'll touch base on a couple of these um, things in the next video but just a little rundown. So we've got report section here. Um, every day you can see what commissions you're getting, which I love. You can see the conversions, the percentages. So some days are a lot better than others. Now we just had Christmas, which is I, I love Christmas time. Everyone seems to be shopping online. Boxing Day is a killer. 14 conversions, um, which was a nice one. But you know it doesn't have to just be Boxing Day. So you know. Five conversions made $101 commission that time. So it just depends on what people are buying as well. So how does it work? You go into the advertiser section. Once you've created your account, anyone can apply for it. Um, I'll run down what you do once you've applied for it. And you just go in here and you select the merchant that you want to work with. So basically what that means is I could say, all right, um, hmm, misguided. They're pretty big online clothing company. Uh, I've got a blog. I love clothing. Um, I'd like to make some money off of it. I've got some traffic going there already. I want to promote their products. Perfect. All right, I click the box. I click on apply. Usually there'll be an apply button here. I've already applied for it. Um, and then you can apply for it, basically. And they'll give you affiliate links. They'll give you banners. They'll give you coupons depending on you know what it is they're doing at the time. Sometimes they do coupons, sometimes they don't. Um, personally, coupons are the best, but you can you can always make some good commissions off just affiliate links. Once you've applied for a few, now it gets fun. So <laughs> there's lots of ways that you can use these affiliate links, uh, but be careful because some uh, some affiliates. Uh, different to others, so each one really have their own conditions. Best thing is you look into this button here, and it'll come up with 
program restrictions. So this this one is pretty standard. Uh, most accept everything except for paid search and behavioral targeting. So they don't want you to be using Google AdSense and using their keywords and just breaking you know money off them using SEO. Um, unless it's organic, then that's okay, and that must be niched as well. You can't just be you know making a website similar name to them and then start making money. Can't do that. So there's a few different ways, but um, yeah, this is this is the program restrictions. Creatives. So creators is your banners and things. So you got coupons, promotions, data feeds, uh, text links, widgets, emails, videos, and images. So widgets are quite cool too. That could be like a insurance company. This is a pretty popular one. You put the widget on, it tells the your consumer, the customer on your blog, what you know it might cost them for travel insurance, and then they go, "Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll get it." Instead of having to go to their website first and you load another page up, you can actually grab the client on your page. So it's quite good. Um, text links, uh, promotions, and coupons are probably the main things I use. Videos are alright, um, but they're mainly if you want to put put them embedded in your email campaigns. So, yep, that's the creative section. And then you've got trans transactions. So transactions is just a more in detailed overview of what transactions you're getting. You can click on this arrow and you can see the traffic source. So um, you can see the time of conversion, you can see the date of approval, you can see the sale date, etc. So gives you a good idea of where your customer is coming from and how long it's taking for them to actually buy it. That's a good indicator on a few things. So it's good to watch these and just to make a sort of record and then for future you can you know use that to your advantage. Alright, so that's the account. You can see um, this is you know why I love the layout the way it is. It's responsive, there's an app for it. Um, the app is absolutely amazing. I use it every day. Uh, you can check everything just as you can on here. You can message merchants. Um, there's a message sensor up here. Just you can see the little thing at the top there. And you can apply for different um, different things directly to the merchant, which is great. So you have that point of contact. No other network has a system like this that I've seen. So <clears throat> go commission factory, you guys friggin' rule. So yeah, uh, as more creatives come in and more promotions come in, you'll get a feed. So this is the feed. And in your email it's like list, you'll get a feed as well. It can get pretty long. <laughs> There's lots, it depends who you're working with, but yeah, you can get lots of updates on, on new things, which is quite cool. So yeah, that's a bit of a rundown of the dashboard and there's the, there's a lot of things here that you can play around with, like there's these little um, annotations that you can add. So if I start running ads anytime soon, I can put a little annotation in and I can see my spike, where it's going, I can see you know, what whether it's working or not. A bit difficult at the moment because it's Christmas time, you, you don't really know what is working because everyone's just buying anyway. Um, but it's a good good way of kind of seeing, you know, am I doing the right thing or not? Am I wasting money? Um, and we'll talk about how to monetize that and how to, you know, track whether you're doing the right thing. So the other thing I really like to do is go to reports, and I recommend you do this. Go to reports once you've got a few transactions coming in, and go to compare. Um, and go to custom and then go back to when you first started now this will make you happy because if you're doing it right I mean it'll make you happy if you're not uh, sorry but it should make you happy because traffic as long as it's consistent um, it can only really go up so the more your blogs out there the more you're updating it the more you're doing stuff 
the more traffic you're going to get, the more engagement you're going to get, the more money you're going to get. So you'll see a sort of incline, and then you can sort of scroll your mouse across the top here, and you can see that pitfalls and drops and and things there. And then you can see the total commission, which is which is pretty cool, and the amount of sales. So you can see the links that you promote generated that many sales, which is cool, and the um, conversion rate as well here. So yeah, um, in my next video, I will show you guys exactly how to set it up, how to put the links in your blog, um, and not just that, but how to get these conversions coming through. So there's lots of ways, but I've found one way that is the easiest of all of the other ways. So I hope you've liked this video today, guys. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video on how to create your blog and start getting some conversions. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, leave in the comments below. Have a great day.